Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Drip add-on by WP Forms. With the Drip add-on, you can easily connect your site's contact form to your Drip account and automatically add new subscribers each time they fill out and submit the form on your site. You can integrate any form to your Drip account and use it to record events, add or remove tags, lead scoring, and more. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Drip add-on. We can do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the Drip add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Now that the add-on has been activated, go to the Settings tab under WP Forms on the left and then click on the Integrations tab. Scroll until you find the Drip integration and click on it to open the integration settings. Click on the Add New Account button and two additional fields should appear, Drip Account Name and Drip API Token. In the Drip Account Name field, you can enter any name you'd like. This is for internal use only, so no one else will see this information. The Drip API Key Token is what will connect your Drip account to WP Forms. To find this key, let's open a new tab and log into our Drip account. Once you're on the dashboard, click on the person icon on the very top corner on the right and then select user settings. Copy the API token found at the very bottom of this page and then tab back over to your WordPress site. Paste the API token in the Drip API key token field and then click connect to Drip. If the connection was successful, you should see a green connected status box next to the integration. Now that we've connected WP Forms to our Drip account, we can go into the Form Builder to add the integration to our form. Click on the Add New tab on the left to go into the Form Builder. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. Let's use a simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. Let's say that we want to give our visitors the choice of opting into our Drip mailing list. Let's add a checkbox field to our form and then click on it to customize its settings. We're going to update the label, asking our visitor if they'd like to sign up for our newsletter, and we'll update the label for our first choice to say yes, and we'll delete the remaining two options. Click on the Save button on the top right corner to save our changes, and from there, let's go to the Marketing tab on the left and click on Drip to connect our form to our account. Click on the Add New Connection button on the top right corner and an overlay will appear where you can create a name for your connection. Let's go ahead and give our connection a name and from here, we'll select our newly connected account and action to perform. In most scenarios, your goal will be to add new subscribers to your list each time a user fills out and submits the form. But let's go through each of the available actions to perform to learn more about what the Drip add-on can do for you and your website. Subscriber, Create or Update will either add a new subscriber to your Drip list or update an existing one. You should use this action if you want to build a subscriber list but don't have a campaign ready yet or let existing subscribers update their own email addresses through your form. If you select this option, a few additional fields will appear. Anything with an asterisk will be required. In the Subscriber Email field, you'll select the email field in your form. If you have multiple email fields in your form, you can specify which one this will apply to. The New Subscriber Email field should only be used if you're using your form to update an existing subscriber. In this dropdown, you'll select the email field in your form where the user should be entering their new email address. Below that is a checkbox called Send User ID to Drip if the user was logged in. By default, Drip automatically assigns all users an ID number. If you'd like the Drip ID number to match the user's WordPress user ID, then make sure to check this box. The Send User IP Address to Drip setting will include a user's IP address in Drip. Mark User as Prospect will flag subscribers so that you can easily target these specific leads within Drip. If there are any tags you'd automatically like to assign to users in Drip, you can enter them in this Tags to Add field. Alternatively, you can also drop down any specific tags you'd like to remove from users in Drip in the Tags to Delete field. 
If you select the subscriber, Creator Update Action to Perform, you'll also have the option to map fields in your form to custom fields you created in Drip. You can type in the identifier of your custom field in the text box in the Custom Field Name column, and then in the Form Field Value column next to it, use the drop-down to select the form field that corresponds to it. If you'd like to add additional custom fields, click on the blue plus button. Finally, you can apply conditional logic here so that the Drip add-on will only perform whatever action you choose if the user met a certain requirement. For example, our form had a checkbox asking visitors if they'd like to be added to our mailing list. We can enable conditional logic here and set it up so that the Drip add-on will only add a user to our mailing list if they check the box. The next action, Subscriber, Delete, will let a user delete themselves completely from your Drip account. It's worth noting that you should only use this option if your form is specifically intended to allow users to do this. The only field you'll need to select for this action is the form field that contains the user's email address. You won't need to specify which list this action will apply to, since this action is intended to delete a subscriber's information from your account altogether. The Campaign Subscribe action will allow you to immediately add a new subscriber to an existing email marketing campaign in Drip. You should select this action if you've already created a campaign and want to start adding subscribers to it right away. This action also has some of the same additional settings we saw in the subscriber, creator update action. The next option, campaign, unsubscribe, will let your subscribers remove themselves from your drip campaigns. This is different from the previous delete action in that it will allow them to remove themselves from a campaign, but their user data will still remain in your account. You'll need to select which campaign you'd like to apply this action to, and then select the form field that will contain the user's email address. The final action to perform is Record Event. This action will not only create a new subscriber in Drip, but it will also add an event to them. Events in Drip are used to track the activity of your subscribers. For example, you may want to create a specific event in Drip to indicate that subscribers were added to your list by submitting the form you're building. So if you're planning to or are already making use of the events function in Drip, you can select this action to perform. You'll need to select the email field that will contain the user's email address, and then select any of the existing events from your Drip account. You can also create the name of a custom event right from the add-on settings by clicking the Add New button and creating the name. Once you've finished configuring your settings, click on the Save button to save your changes. You can now preview and submit a test entry to your form, and afterwards, check your Drip account where you'll be able to find the information we just submitted. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the Drip add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.